I'm recording, Steve. Okay. Do you want me to share your side or do you want me to share the doc? You go for it. Okay. Okay. So today is the March 23rd Artilius General Meeting. And please sign yourself in if you haven't. Um, and we'll get started here. So, Tracy, do you have an update or I don't know if Siddharth is on yet on the uh, outreach marketing side? Uh, we'll see if that's Siddharth, if he wants to take it. Um, not much to update. We're just working on the blogs. Thanks, everybody, for um, submitting their blogs. Uh, they're all posted. DT, I did fix that one uh, image that I missed when I brought it over to Markdown, so that should be good. Um, so, yeah, we're just, everybody's starting to do the last minute blogs and I appreciate that, so thanks. I think there was a, I think Natch might have needed some help and I think that uh, Sasha might have reached out and said he would help him. So I think we're, we're doing good and if you, still time to submit a blog. Yeah, so we did run into a problem last night with um, uh, Quay went down. Um, I don't know what happened on the, the Red Hat side, but uh, you couldn't log into Quay, so it threw all of our automated builds for the website um, off the rails. Um, it looks like it's uh, back up and running. So you can uh, either uh, submit them through the Google Groups, or if you want to do the markdown, the markdown side is working. Um, so you could do a pull request against the website uh, repo and make your changes down there and we'll get them merged in. Or if you want to still stick with the Google Groups, um, Google Docs, either way will work. We did, um, we did chat about the um, website and Sergio, um, we looked at websites that we might have more interesting wallpapers for. And Sergio created an awesome wallpaper. Sergio, you want to share that? Or Steve, can you bring it up? Uh, yeah, let me grab it. I think it was in general. And I created a new um, GIF for the hourglass. There it is. Awesome. I love it. I totally love it. It's perfect. <laughs> I tried to put the or uh, font, but I I failed importing from the website, so <laughs> I missed the Ortelos name to maybe put some message. I don't uh, I don't even know if you need it since it'll be on the site and the Ortelos name's on the site. I think it just like this works. Okay, uh, I just was like doing some try to have some feedback, so <laughs> I realized it's okay, and I will. Uh, I remember on our last conversation you mentioned this and I love the idea so if somebody has like I don't know maybe a funny scenario about this and helps to describe what we do uh, I can I can totally try to to transform I, that idea think, into a, a background I think scanning container I mean that the way it's looking at you know it's watching the containers is that's a great image and I wonder if we could have uh, animate the the water or animate the boat and animate him. Um, do, if you, I can try animating it if you have this in the EPS. Yeah, I can I can try that, but I am going to put it to to PSD to 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 collaborate. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I I just do it in a PNG for for having a feedback. But uh, yeah, I can still animate it like the the Helm one that yeah they have. Yeah, this Steve, boat show the so would you bring up Steve bring up Helm.io so we so everybody can see what we're trying to. It's SH. <laughs> I remember that. Oh, SH yeah. now. Yeah. So this part down here. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, it doesn't have to be a lot of doesn't have to be a lot of animation. I'll take this forever. But that 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 does bring some life to the page. 
So we are continuing to work on the, the website, um, make it a little more friendly, and um, I'm, I'm happy with I'm happy yeah, with probably that. Yeah, I will work with the with that background and some icons, and I I think it's going to be a, a good start. I do too. And we're gonna do the main header part. That's what I'm assuming if we're trying to copy kind of what we're doing here, um, or it can, it doesn't have to be. It could be it it could be a. We'll just play with it. I don't. We don't know yet, Steve. I don't think. Okay. Because this part here is an image that we can replace yeah. pretty easy. Yeah. Um, it's not going to throw off uh, the pages uh, because it's replicated all the way across. So that, if you think about this top area to play with, would be a good good area. And then once we decide on that, I'll carry it across all of the um, social. I'll put it as our, uh, you know, our banners and like LinkedIn and stuff. And like we we're saying, the um, the posts the, are coming across really nice. Um, so just keep on working on the blogs. Uh, much appreciated. Uh, there's there's some fun stuff coming out of them. I mean, you get Sasha with his 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 interpretation of the cow. <laughs> And I did a GIF that looks like it's similar to that. So we get rid of the dog, so we won't have a dog on the um, on the hourglass. It's a it's a spaceship probing a cow. <laughs> well, it's the same thing, pulling it up. It takes me back to my younger years. <laughs> well, did did over in the uh, your site, Owen? Do do you guys have a lot of UFO stuff? Um, not as much as you see in the States, but, uh, I grew up near an air base. So there was a lot oh. of, uh, UFO stuff reported while I was growing up. Um, it was a kind of experimental airfield they had. So that was always fun. Yeah. Just, uh, about three hours south where Tracy and I are is, um, Roswell. So, I mean, they've even made a, a current show out of it and that's, that, that, that town's pretty crazy down there. Everything is aliens. Well, in the I think it was in the maybe the '90s. Um, there was, the, in I think the Four Corners area, they had found these mutilated cows. They have no idea to this day why they were mutilated, and there was a massive conspiracy that was UFOs that were bringing the cows up, doing all these tests on them, and then dropping them. And they had the FBI. They research, They looked into it for a long time. So, if you drive around um, New Mexico, you'll see cow signs because we have cattle crossings and whatnot and over it people have gone spaceship. <laughs> so uh, any any cow crossing sign in new mexico you're likely to see a spaceship over it so it's a very new mexican thing i have to admit but so is the alien <laughs> um back to the website real quick i did uh hook in Google Analytics, so we do have tracking um, on the website. So that was one of the things that, uh, when we moved over to the static NGINX, I was able to plug that in. Um, we are tracking uh, stats, so I just need to know, whoever wants access to that, I just have to add their uh, email address to the account. So just reach out to me and um, uh, I'll get you added to that. Um, that's one thing I don't have uh, easy access to is email addresses. I have everything else. So um, just uh, send me a message and I'll get you added. Um, next thing on the list. Did we have any, uh, did you meet with Karima last week? Tracy? Uh, Nitu and Siddharth and Karima are, are meeting to finalize that, um, the steps. And I haven't gotten, uh, I haven't gotten anything back from them yet. Okay. They so know that, that we're, their, their goal is to get it all done by the 31st. Okay. Uh, GSOC, we're still waiting on uh, Google. I do have to submit our some information over to uh, Tara uh, at the CDF about our user ID, our email addresses, our GitHub handles and names. 
So Tracy, I might have you do that since you have that list. Okay. And I still, I, apparently the, uh, uh, the seasons or the summer of documentation pro, uh, hackathon, I guess you'd call it, we have to submit that to ourselves. They're not going to do it at the CDF level because each project has to define their own budget. So we'll submit it independent as a CDF project. Okay. I'll, and I'll get that done today or tomorrow. It's due tomorrow. Well, that may work out better. We'll have to see with these uh, as well. I did, um, I did uh, submit the payment over to She Codes Africa. So um, Tracy, if you could follow up with was it her name? Ad Adia? Zaneeb. Yeah, if you could follow up with her and let her know that um, uh, the payment's been sent and what the next step is. Okay. Um, just some other working groups that uh, if you're interested, the CDF. I don't know if this is the best practices still having their meetings. I don't know. I looked. To, I, I'm supposed to be on those calls. I looked to see when the next one was, and I couldn't find it. But I'm assuming yes, they are. I have not been told otherwise. Okay. Um, there's the event sig that happens right after this. If you're uh, interested, um, I will hunt down that link. Uh, that one's the the event sig's kind of heating up. Um, it's the the concept is uh, cloud events um, between CI CD tools. Um, it, it, they're trying to do some, they want to like standardize what the vocabulary is and what the messages are going to look like. So if you're interested in that, um, it's right after this one. And you should be able to find that link off of uh, the CDF site. If not, let me know and I will get it to you. Let me see if I actually have it here. I'll drop it in here now. Um, I'm trying to think. On the architecture side, we are um, moving along with that. I think it's this one. Throw that link in there. Um, so we are moving along. I, I am going to start uh, assigning uh, people uh, some issues to work on, you know, some coding. So if you're definitely uh, interested in coding, uh, let me know or let, uh, let, you know, just reach out and we'll make sure we got some coding for you to do. Um, they, we are going to stick with uh, Python Flask as the starting point uh, for the microservices. Uh, I can't remember who it was, but somebody asked me for a, um, a data set to work with, some test data, and I'm going to pull my test data that I do my development against, and I will push that out to the Google Drive and let everybody know that it's out there. What I'm going to do is going to export um, my Postgres database uh, and al that allow you to import it into your local Postgres, um, so you'll be able to do things locally. Uh, as part of that process. Um, so you can just browse the tables and things like that. So that will be happening uh, this week. And try to think what else from the architecture side. We are going to be uh, focusing on the service catalog data uh, to start with. Um, so that's where we'll be um, our, our initial push. And also we're going to wrap in uh, the stuff that we did over the summer for Hackathon. Uh, we'll wrap that up and bring that into uh, the the project as well. Everything out there is going to be tagged as service catalog project in the Artelius uh, repo. So if you're looking for the issues, you can look at it under the um, the, the service catalog um, project. And then on the project management side, Tracy, do you want to speak what's happening on that side? Um. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure what to say. In well, you meet with Siddharth and, and need to more than I do. That's why. 
Well, Siddharth, I mean about um, just getting the Trello set up right now and just uh, about the uh, the recognition program. Um, I think that Trello is working. We're uh, people in, for, in terms of the blogs, they've submitted things on Trello. Um, we have found them, we've edited them and pushed them across. So from that, uh, from the Trello side, I think everything is, is doing fine. I know I'm... Um, I'm still wondering if Trello is the best place for people to get credit, but uh, I think that doing the in the blogs now that we have the website as it is, I think it's better in the future if we do this that we have everybody submit their blogs via Markdown directly, so that there's more activity in uh, GitHub and we can track that better. Um, but uh, I think things are, in terms of other non kind of uh, commit activities, the Trello board seems to be working. Okay. Yeah, because that's one of the things that um, we have to submit, like, at least every quarter to the CDF is our statistics. Um, they want it broken down by a month, you know, how many commits, how many issues, how many things are closed, those type of things. Um, so the more we keep track of that in Git, it's a lot easier for us to um, report those statistics up to the CDF. And I think that will change now. I mean, April for next week, we'll be starting um, the the support project. Uh, Steve's going to be, you know, I think what I'm going to start doing is when we get these issues, I'm going to start sending out emails via the um, Google Docs uh, mailing list so people can see what uh, new projects are out there and if, if they think that that's a fit for them. Uh, so I think communicating the issues will be our next bigger challenge. Uh, and I know when I talked to Marky, he said that there is a talent of being able to see an issue and then thinking about the people he, he, thought, he thinks that could, could work on that issue. So that it will be our next learning phase in terms of getting the, 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 the coding projects completed is to get issues assigned to people and people feeling comfortable that they can take that particular coding challenge on. Cool. That was the main highlights that I had on in mind. Uh, am I missing anything? Uh, Steve? Yeah. I know we are talking about uh, in, in terms of coding for, for the Git, but uh, maybe uh, it's, it helps if we try this icon and stuff for the website, put it everything as uh, issues. Because still, we, the PSD file, the PNG file, at least are issues to, to solve in the website, and it is a project for us. So maybe for the metric, it still is, is good. I yes, think definitely. So. Yeah. Even the, even the wallpaper you're working on, we should create an issue for the wallpaper, for example. So. Yeah, that's, I was thinking about that. OK. Yeah. And I think, uh, let me double check. I've been trying to um, kind of organize uh, just at a high level uh, so it's easier to, instead of trying to do a bunch of, you know, website, um, you know, just tagging them with, at the beginning, uh, whether it's documentation. I know you could do the whole label and tag things, but um, it just makes it easier for you to sort. <laughs> Uh, based on the name, uh, tagging it this way. Uh, so uh, let's go ahead and tag the ones you're talking about, Sergio, with the website. And um, we can uh, get those taken care of. Yeah, um, for the last thing, uh, the, the, translate, the translation uh, topic, yeah. uh, well, I start, but uh, I try to do by myself, like, like, uh, translating word by word that uh, is really painful. <laughs> uh, yeah. it's, not, it's, not, it's, not, it's not so painful. It's good because you can, I don't know, read actual like your spelling and stuff uh, are good. But yeah, I have too little time on <laughs> every week. Yeah. So probably I'm going to change the strategy to, to do like a, a massive translation and just reading and, and be sure that maybe it's not the best translation, but it at least makes sense and technical side of the explanation is okay and 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 just uh publish uh early to have like feedback and i improve it but not trying to do just the best translation and in, in the first try because 
it's going to take a lot of time. Yeah, those, anytime you get into translation, it's a huge, huge project. You so, know, Sergio, we might want to wait. If we um, get selected to be um, part of the Google Season of Docs, uh, that means that we'll have a technical writer. We get up to $15,000 to have a technical writer um, go through our documentation. Our documentation is out there, but it's not, it's not complete. I don't know how to say it. It's it. It's not deep enough. That's the best way to describe it. You know, it's, just, it's light. Um, just quickly on that topic, actually. Uh, so, coincidentally, I have a technical writer locally who owed me a favor. So uh, I also have a quick scan through the docs. Her feedback was overall layouts good, but she was confused about the purpose behind them as it seemed too shallow to be technical documentation, but also too deep in some areas to be um, kind of pitch documentation. So she, she felt the purpose was a bit split, depending on which area, and which I think kind of matches with what you're describing there. Yeah. So do you think she would be interested in um, getting paid to do work for us if we... He um, is very busy with Rockstar at the moment, so okay. it's not okay. over time, but she had a quick scan through as I was curious to get some feedback from her. Yeah, it's just, um, it doesn't go, and I'm not a technical writer, so it was really hard to write that documentation. And so I don't know, in that uh, season of docs, we have to show what we want to accomplish. Um, oh, and if you have an idea and you could help me vocalize that, the, the deadline's the 26th, I just checked, for the project. Even if you could just shoot me an email and say, include these concepts. That would be, I'll, I'll that would be make helpful. a note to do that tomorrow. I'll get an okay. email across to you. I'll add it to my task list. Okay. But now I have Thanks. a task list, which is going down for the first time in months. It's amazing. <laughs> Good. Yeah, so I, 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 the, what they want to know is what needs to be done, what, what specific improvements need to be made to the website uh, or to the documentation, and is there a way to measure success, and do we have a, a technical writer that, um, you know, because we have to hire the technical writer, even though they pay their salary. Um, I can, well, for having a second option, I, I work with a, with a person here in Red Hat. He's not a technical writer, but he is uh, do our translation for documents. Um, I say he's not a technical writer, but he's used to it to work with us, with Red Hat. So uh, we usually work on technical. Uh, documents and this person uh, works in in Wikipedia too, so has this background about like uh, putting order in articles and stuff like that. So I'm going to ask her to see if if well, was his time or maybe she she's really enthusiastic. Maybe she want to join us as 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 project. I don't know. I'm going to have a, a first approach with her to Yeah, and on the Wikipedia, if you know, I, I would love to uh, get someone to create a Wikipedia page for us. I have not never been successful in getting them submitted. So, um, yeah, if if she knows what how to get a Ortelius Wikipedia page up for us, that would be super helpful. I will try to to her uh, get her on board of this meeting, maybe, and uh, after that we can check what we can work with with her. Is a really nice person, and and she loves like uh, I don't know <laughs> community projects and collaboration. So. I, I will just start the conversation. So we will have to find our own technical writer so that if we do get accepted and get the grant for five to $15,000, depending on what we ask for, and we get accepted, we will have to hire our own technical writer. And then we have to, organ we have to manage the payments to them through a, a service that they use. So we have to uh, improve um those payments. Okay, so for the translation thing, I, I still have this this goal about translating the, the contribution pages, uh, not the deep dive of the documentation, but at least the, 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 I don't know, the first reach out pages that are important for, I don't know, in Spanish communities or maybe other uh, languages. Okay. So I'm thinking though on that, um, you, yes, if you want to go ahead and do some of the, the main pages, that's, that's great. Um, but instead of doing it on your own, Leonard, Leonardo Morello, I think his name is, he's working on the SIG group. He's reached out to me a few times. He's trying to build a stronger um, community. Uh, I think he is in Costa Rica. He may, um, he may 
take that on with you uh, when we're ready to really push it, because that's one of the one of his personal goals. Okay, I, I'm going to. Yeah, I see, I I see him. I saw him in in the in the chat. So I I have a. I'm going to reach out in in Discord to yeah, yeah to to work together instead of having to do it all by yourself. <laughs> Well, we'll find out about the, uh, it says the, the, let me see, what are the dates here? I think I saw the dates just a second ago. Uh, let me get, get started. Okay, well, if I, uh, uh, we can continue on. I, I'll shoot out an email that says this is the dates for the, when we'll know. All right, here it is. Organizations are announced April 16th. So we're just around the corner from getting um, either, you know, finding out within the next two weeks if that we're going to be able to hire a professional technical writer to help us with this. So it's not too far down the road. Cool. Anybody have anything else? We're coming up on the end of the half. Okay, perfect. So um, uh, keep an eye out for the issues coming through. Um, I will be assigning issues to people. If I am like totally off the mark and you're like a project manager and I've given you some C-level coding to do, um, let me know. <laughs> It's not intentional. I just uh, I have a pretty good idea of everybody's skill set, but um, uh, still trying to feel that all out. Um, so, just a heads up on that. Tracy, anything else from your side? No, no, I'm good. Sergio, you good? Totally good. And, and again, Sasha, you break it again today? <laughs> not. I'm, I'm all good to you. Thanks. You saved the day. <laughs> and, uh, you just a quick, uh, Tatiana, um, I don't know if you've thought about uh, doing any blogs, but a blog on your the way you created personas, um, I think, would be super useful. I think that the CDF could take a look at that blog, actually. Sure. It's, thanks, Tracy. I'm, I'm back you know, to the team. So yes, we were already um, started to work on that with Nito, but you know, right. we just need to pick up it back. And um, yeah, I hopefully will finalize it in a couple of days. Great. Well, it's great to have you back. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. All right, everybody. Thank you so much. And oh, one last thing. Um, uh, this Thursday, um, same time, uh, I am going to go over basically what I walked through with Sasha on how the um, build process works around the website. Um, so that's kind of like where the rubber meets the road um, meeting on Thursday. It'll be like an hour long. Um, so if you're interested on in how all the build pieces fit together, uh, Sasha is going to be presenting it. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> No, I'll, I'll 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 walk through it, and Sasha uh, will. He's done a really nice blog on it, so he, he it'll it'll be good for everybody to get a feel for how how we've pieced things together. They called it Ortelius meets CICD under the covers. I'm going to go ahead and put in, uh, send a notice to everybody. Is that the one you're talking about, Steve? Yep. Okay. And that was the invite went out to the Google group, so everybody. Um, I've been getting invites, uh, acceptance coming through. So uh, a lot of people have already picked it up off of the Google group. Great. Okay. So that's like the next one. It's like our, our off week. So I threw it in there. Um, so if you're interested, uh, stop by on Thursday. All right. Thanks everybody. All right. Thank you everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.